Hey folks, welcome to Stretch. I know that you're used to seeing me on your TV, but doing other workouts, not Stretch. Guess what, it's a special treat. Folks, today I have my friends assisting me. We have Nancy over here to my left. We have Marty over here to my right. Um, please be nice to them. You know, they're really good at stretching. If you see them looking like a pretzel, you're at home, no one's going to see that you don't have to look like a pretzel, okay? <laughs> Folks, whenever we are working with our bodies, I ask that we always first check in with how are you feeling today? Because today's different than yesterday, today's gonna be different than tomorrow. Just notice how you're feeling and what feels right. Notice if anything does not feel right because you have to take really good care of that, okay? When we stretch, we are looking to lengthen our muscles. We are looking to maybe work out any knots or adhesions. We are not looking to feel pain. We're not looking to feel any tingling. If any of that happens, it's a good indication for you to probably stop what you're doing and maybe uh, just sit that one out. Usually I'll tell you, ask me for an alternative, but I'm not here with you today. Unless magically, if you have my phone number, you can try, but no promises. Um, folks, I do ask though that you just be very, very careful with your body, okay? Um, we are going to start standing upright, focusing first on breath. Big inhales through your nose, big exhale through your mouth. Folks, as you're breathing, I should mention, you probably want to have a yoga mat if you have one. If you don't have a yoga mat, maybe you might want to get like a big bath or a beach towel. Anything that you have, unless you have like a fluffy carpet at home and that suffices, then great. We will use a stretching strap, which I have here in class. I know that not everyone is equipped with a strap at home. You could use a dish rack, like a dish towel, that's probably the good length. Um, you might even have like maybe one of the workout straps like a resistance bag. You could use that carefully. Um, if you have like a bath towel that's long enough, it just might be a little heavy. But towels usually work really good as straps. Okay, sorry, I forgot to say that in the beginning. Let's come back to our breath. This time we're pairing it with a shoulder roll. Big inhale as shoulders come up. Exhale, push them back and down. Again, big inhale. Folks, from here we're going to take both of our arms out to the sides of our body. Extending as far as you can, palms are starting by facing forward, so you're facing towards your screen, and we're going to rotate our whole arm by moving from the shoulder blade, or from the shoulder joint. So notice on your right side, so it's my left, I'm going to go here, rotating that shoulder joint, then rotating back. I'm going to do the other side as well, rotating. Note the difference, I'm not rotating from the wrist, right? Because that only warms up my wrist and my forearm. I want the entire shoulder joint to warm up. It's almost like we're doing a little dance, right? Go ahead and inject or throw in all of your sass now. Good, so now they're probably feeling real, really nice and warm. Now, for those of you who have not been to a live class with me, you have not had the pleasure of testing your coordination. And I love doing that. <laughs> okay, so our right arms are going up into the air. Right side, we're camera right. There we go. <laughs> it's, um, it's Marty's first time being on camera. <laughs> <laughs> so, right arm is up in the air. We're going to make big arm circles moving forward with the right side. Now, this is not about speed. This is only about going for range of motion. Now, stop thinking about the right as it continues to move because your left arm is moving back. What? 
How are we doing, folks? Terrible. <laughs> okay, good. Take a little break here. Roll out the shoulders. Forward and back. Big shoulder rolls. By now, you've noticed we are building heat. We're trying to warm up through our upper body. We never want to stretch cold muscles. That's dangerous. That's where we invite injury. So we always get them fired up. Left arm up in the air. Now, this side, you're going to move forward. Now, keeping this motion going forward, your right side, I want you to move that back. It's a lot like patting your head and rubbing your belly at the same time. Some people, it's like trying to chew gum and walk. <laughs> Okay, good. Take a break there. Now, shoulders, I think, are adequately warm. We're going to reach for our strap. So that's where, now for you, if you don't have a strap, again, you're going to grab either a small towel or maybe like a workout resistance band. Holding your objects, we'll just call them all straps, a little wider than shoulder distance apart, I'd like for you just to lift your arms up fully extending at the elbow and trying to really open up through your chest. You're pulling your arms back. Now, I alluded to it at the beginning of class. I will mention and I will, I, I will actually repeat. Stretching is very, very personal. So you have to work with your own body. You have to honor what it's willing to do today. For me, my body is willing to have my arms come way back. For some, you might be right here. All of it is valid, all of it is good. I want you to work with what your body is going to do. Our focus here is to open through our chest. How are you feeling at home? What? How are you feeling in here? We're okay? Folks, let's bring our arms down. Just rest here for a moment. As we rest, we're going to reverse those shoulder rolls. We're rolling up and forward. You know, it's been a little while since I've recorded one of these classes for you. And I've never lugged all of my recording equipment here into the movement studio. <laughs> So, we are going to repeat that last stretch, but we're going to give ourselves a little more slack in between both of our hands, so a little wider. So that when we go up, let's see if we can bring our arms and hands a little further back than where we were before. Again, really focusing on opening up through the chest. If you are into like energy work or spirituality in this position, I'd like to say that you're ready to uh, Accept and receive all of my love. I'm full of it. Just ask your neighbor, they'll tell you. Really feeling that stretch, relaxing into it. Remembering that if you've had enough at any point, don't wait for me to tell you that we're done. You can take a break and you should if you need to. Now we'll bring those arms back down. Good. We're done with the strap for now, so you can just leave it right on the floor beside your mat. Back to our breathing. We're going to take really big inhales, inhaling through our nose, shoulders come up. Big exhale drop. Again. We are going to take our right arm out to the side of our body, keeping that arm fully extended and keeping the shoulder depressed. Why would I want it depressed? I don't want you to lift that shoulder. It's going to change the stretch. You keep it down. Now cross your midline. By not lifting the shoulder, you should notice that you can't get very far. If I lift, I can get further, but that's not what I'm asking you to do. So keep it 
down in here. Now, with your left hand, you're going to grab the back of your right arm and gently pull. We're focusing on the back of your right shoulder. Feels good, I hope. At home, I can't hear you. You need to give me a little more energy. Okay, release. Your left arm is coming out to the side. Same thing, don't let that shoulder lift. If you have doubts about whether or not it's lifting, run to your mirror. Look at yourself. Maybe wink at your wink one eye, but look at your shoulder. Make sure it's not lifted. Cross that midline. Your right hand is going to grab the back of your left arm. Feels good. Again, back to those big breaths, shoulders go directly up, inhale, big drop. Okay, and break. So I have taught many, many yoga and stretch classes for my son, and a couple of years ago when I asked him to do something and he shrugged his shoulders, and I, I looked at him and I said, what did you just do? He said, I was breathing, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I couldn't blame him, you know? <laughs> so we are still on our feet. Folks, I ask that you please tap one foot in front of you, one at a time. Now this will require a little bit of balance. If balance is a challenge, I do ask that you make sure that you're standing next to maybe a countertop, a kitchen, a dining room table, chair, um, a sofa, your friend. <laughs> you know, just make sure that you're holding up, or even the wall, like anything that you need to hold on to, make sure that you're safe and stable. Safety is always number one when we're doing any type of movement. Now, back on both feet, we're going to shift our weight so that we're on our left leg exclusively. Lifting your right leg, I want you just to roll out that ankle. As big a circle as you can. Now we're going to pause there. Let's reverse the direction of that circle. Okay, bring that foot down. And just pause for a moment. Okay, putting all of our weight into our right leg, we're going to lift our left leg out in front of us and start to roll along that ankle. See, we all lose our balance every once in a while, it's okay. Now let's reverse the direction of that circle. When we wind it up, we have to unwind it. Nicely done. We are going to step to towards the front of our mats, right? With your um, right leg, I just want you to step back slightly. So if this was, if we were in yoga, we would look like we're preparing for like a warrior pose. What I want you to do, and you don't have to have your feet close together. If balance is an issue, step your feet further apart. So give yourself more width in between your legs. But I want both of your feet to be parallel to one another. So all 10 toes should be facing forward. Try not to let your hips externally rotate at all. Now from here, your left knee, we're going to bend that. So we're leaning slightly forward, keeping your right heel firmly planted into the floor behind you. We're stretching our calf muscle. Everyone in the room feel that. That's okay. Perfect. There's no real right or wrong way for how long we hold the stretch. 
Really, depending on the muscle group, we want to hold them longer. But for some of us who don't stretch often, you don't want to hold it too long. So let's go ahead and step our foot up. So now we are upright. We're going to give our, our legs a moment just to recover from that. Now, speaking of stretching, like I mentioned, you never want to stretch cold muscles. If you are planning on going and doing some active anything, if you're going to go exercise, if you're going to go take a class, you don't want to do this stretch beforehand. You're going to relax your body too much and you remove some of that explosivity that your muscles have. This type of static stretch you hold for after all of your activities. You hold for right before you're ready to relax with maybe a margarita or a glass of wine. Okay, this is after exercise. <laughs> well, let me know, I know. Okay, so opposite side, we're gonna take our left leg step back. We, both of our feet are still flat on our mat, so we have full connection with the bottoms of both of our feet. We're still trying to make sure that we have both feet parallel to one another. Remembering that balance is an issue, you can take your feet wider, right, so it gives you a, a greater center of gravity. Now, leaning into your right thigh, I want you to just lean forward slightly so that you really push through your left heel and feel the stretch in the back of your left leg. It's always fun to do these unilateral stretches because it really lets you see what side is tighter. We always have one side that's tighter. Okay, step your feet up. Again, we take a little recovery. <sighs> Folks, I do recommend that as we go through the stretch class, you are hydrating. You want to drink water along the way. We're moving a lot of tissue around. We are redistributing fluid in our fascia, which is our connective tissue. So you're going to want to hydrate. So right now, I do recommend, because I know this is playing live, you don't have a pause button, run over there, grab a cup of water, grab a bottle of water. I'm going to just open mine up and cheers to you. It's very, very responsible of all of us to make sure that we stay hydrated. At this point, let's all come down to a seated position on our mats. Now, when we are working on the floor, I know that it's not easy for all of us once we're down to get up, right? I know it's also not very comfortable necessarily to just sit directly on the floor without help. So, if you have a pillow, like a throw pillow, um, you probably don't want to use your, your bed, your sleepy pillow, because then you put that on your head later. But you could use a pillow, you could use like a throw blanket, Anything that you want as a bolster, you can, you can sit on it. That's an option. If we do any kneeling stretches, which I think we have at least one series where we're going to be on hands and knees, that pillow will come in very handy to be placed under your knees. So consider that before we actually start anything. If you need anything extra, run and get it. Everyone else who's not getting it, we're going to sit tall while we buy all of you time. Focusing in on our trunk, hands at, at the uh, in front of our knees, we're going to do some torso circles. So basically you're pretending like you're a cobra coming out of a basket, right? We're in the Middle East, someone's playing a, a flute, and we are circling our way out of that basket. We've all seen cartoons, right? So my friends at home, typically in class, Everyone is commenting or giving me feedback or complaining. <laughs> Today everyone's being so well behaved. <laughs> okay, so we're going to pause. I was circling this way. I'm going to circle that way. So I want you to reverse your circles as well. You'll notice this is also very heat building because we're using our core muscles. So they're like right there, right by all of our major organs, right? They're the heart of our, of our everything. 
couldn't think of words. Word. <laughs> All right, hopefully everyone is back with their bolsters or their pillows or whatever it is that we need. We are going to raise our right arm up in the air. Start by waving. Pretend you're all part of a parade, you're in, you're in the float, and we are waving at everybody along the side of the road. Now, from here, I want you to lift through your torso, lift a little taller. You're going to reach back, placing your right hand along the middle upper back or lower portion of your neck, but try not to apply any forward force against the back of your head. So, keeping your hand there, your left hand, we're either going to place it underneath your right arm, or you can place it up on the top of your right elbow, gently supporting so that we can feel a stretch in our triceps. That's right here. Hopefully this feels good. Now let's release, both hands come down, just pause for a moment. It's getting warm in here. <laughs> Left arm comes up. Again, we're back on our parade float, folks. Let's wave. If any of you have ever been in the pageant or ever been in Miss America or Miss Anything and you have a good wave, I'd be happy for you to come teach it to me. Now, again, we're lengthening through our trunk, really lifting through our torso, taking that hand, placing it right along our upper back. Same rule, you don't want to let your head get pushed forward. Your right hand either come from below or come from above at the elbow. Pushing off of your thighs as you inhale, rebuilding your spine, stacking your vertebrae one by one. One more round. Nice, we come up to a very tall sit. I know our legs can always like to be uh, bent for so long, so let's all Extend our legs out in front of our body. Our hands are going to reach back. Trying to angle your hands here. Your fingertips are pointing straight back behind you. You're going to roll your shoulders back, lifting your chest, finding more extension in your spine. Now tilt your chin up to the ceiling. It's a nice stretch for the front of your shoulders. Depending how much extension you get in your arms, your biceps should be stretching. Definitely feel a little bit in your chest. And best is that your legs are getting a break. You're welcome. Now let's sit up tall. Again, we're crossing our legs in front of our body. Good time to check in. How are you all feeling? Good. Good. At home, how are you feeling? Did anyone hear them? How are you feeling? You've got to really work on that, folks. Okay, your left hand, we're going to go into now some spinal movement and, and mobility. Your left hand, I would like you to place it on the outside of your right knee. 
making sure that your chest stays lifted. Also being very, very careful, okay? This is a natural movement for our spine. Not everybody's spine at this point should do this, so you'll know if you're the one. We are twisting. Keeping your, your chest lifted, we're going to twist over to the right with our hand placed on the floor right behind us. I'm trying to look over my right shoulder. I'm also trying to see if I can twist enough to look right behind me. I can see Marty through my peripheral vision. How about that? Now let's untwist, come back to center. Folks, it's not likely, but what if our, uh, and our cars are like, reverse camera didn't work. What if we didn't have a rear view mirror? When you're probably thinking, what if I don't drive anymore? <laughs> then you don't have to worry about it, right? But you know, we do want to try to maintain as much spinal mobility as we can. And I always talk and pause and stall in between twists because you want to give your back muscles a chance to recover. So your right hand, you're going to place it on the outside of your left knee. Again, we lift our chest, we're sitting tall. My left hand, I'm going to place it on the floor behind me and I'm going to twist. Now again, I'm trying to look over my left shoulder, trying to look behind me as much as possible. And we're going to untwist, come back to center. Hopefully that felt wonderful and not terrible. Folks, again, we're coming back to those torso circles. We're just trying to make that circular motion. Some of us, you know, may remember being like hula hoop champions, right? Some of us may remember always wanting to be, but having no ability to do it. I will not tell you which one of us I am, but let's pretend that we are using a hula hoop right now. Now let's reverse the direction of that, of those circles. Great job. Again, we're sitting tall. We're going to place our left hand on the floor right beside our body. Right arm goes up into the air. You're going to start by really lengthening through your trunk. Before we do any movement from here, I want you to make sure that both of your hips stay flat on the mat. So don't let either cheek lift off of the mat. Let's laterally flex towards our left so we're stretching the right side of our body. You still want to keep your chest somewhat lifted. You want to keep your arm kind of over your head. Perhaps angle your head up and you're looking into the bend of your elbow. Now slowly come out of that, placing your hand back on top of your right thigh. You just sit tall, relax. Great, let's take our right hand on the floor right beside our body. Same thing, your cheeks don't lift, okay? Left arm comes up, really stretching through our torso, reaching as high as we can. We are going to laterally flex over to the right side so we feel a good stretch on our left. Take a moment just to sit here, check in with yourself, maybe grab a water break. I hope you all grabbed your water. We, take it, we took a virtual water break. Folks, so we've already moved our spine in a few different motions, right? We did our lateral flexion. We did our folds. We did our twists. We have a little more flexion and extension that we could do. Now is the time where if you do have a, um, 
like a towel, a blanket, a pillow. You're going to want to place that on the middle of your mat because we are coming into an all four position, tabletop. So I'd like for everyone to bring themselves into that position. As you're um, arranging yourself, I will just talk you through it. I would like for your hands to be placed right below your shoulders. You're going to align your legs so that your knees are right below your hips. Now, you want to make sure you have space in between your legs because there's a balance thing, right? So wherever your hips lie, let your legs go straight down from there. We're going to pause here for a moment so I make sure that everyone is up to speed. We've all caught up. We're all here. Now, we'll start with a deep breath, no movement. Just big inhale. As you exhale, we're going to round through our spine. You're tucking your tailbone. You're really flexing through that spine. Try to round as much as possible. Let your head drop. When you're ready to start inhaling, you come out of that. You're going to pass flat. You're going to lift your tailbone. You're going to now arch through your back. You're going to lift your gaze. You're looking forward. We round. Big spinal flexion here. With every repetition, I want you to see if you can make the movement a little bit bigger. As we start to extend the spine, we're going to start to inhale. With, e with that long inhale, you're going to lift your tailbone, you're lifting your eyes up, you're looking at the screen, you're winking your eyes, you're ready to now then flex, rounding through that spine. As you round, think of Halloween. Think of those Halloween caps, right? On the decorations, the cats have that really, really exaggerated rounded back. That's what we're trying to do. As you inhale and you extend the spine, you're creating length in between each of your discs. Smiling at the top. And then we're going to flex again. We're going to round. One more time. Extend. Inhale. Folks, come back to a neutral tabletop so we're nice and flat. I would like for us to now wag our tail. So we're focusing more on the lumbar spine. You're going to move your hips side to side. Nice job. Folks, if you need a break, if your knees aren't happy, by all means, take a break. You're allowed to. If you're okay with continuing, I would like for you to please bring your knees out to the sides of your mat. If you don't have a mat, so you're not sure how wide to take your knees, you're probably going to separate them by maybe like, I don't know, 18 inches, if you want to be real technical. Now, your feet... Bring them together so that your big toes are touching right behind you. We're going to extend our arms forward as we push our hips back, coming into what we call a child's pose. Just relaxing your hips back, extending your arms as far as you can. Let your forehead relax on the mat or on your towel or whatever you've got. I promise we won't stay here very long. Now let's start to push our hips back up. We're pulling our hands back underneath us. We're back in the tabletop position. I'd like for you to come back into a seated position. So carefully work your way back. Onto the mat so you're safely seated here. Now, we are going to place the soles of our feet together in front of our body. Let your knees relax in an open position. Now, I realize this is not comfortable for everybody. If this doesn't work for you, then here's your position. You're just going to sit idle and just relax, right? If this works for you, the soles of your feet are going to be together, I'd like for you to grab onto 
right above where your toes are, and you're going to gently start to pull your, your heels towards you. Now, in this position, you will need to readjust yourself. Make it comfortable, right? Now, we are going to flap our butterfly wings. If anyone is able to achieve liftoff, you've got to let me know. <laughs> now, relax here, let gravity kind of assist, and just feel how your inner thighs and your groin relax a little, relax a little and let your knees drop towards the floor. Using some of your arm strength, you're gently gonna pull your chest towards your feet. Gently, I said, not a big tuck, very little. Now let's sit up tall, let's release our feet, extend our legs. Hands come down to the mat right beside you, just shake your legs out. Folks, now is the time where you're going to want to grab your strap or your small towel or whatever you have um, that you've been using as a stretching aid. We're not going to use it immediately for the next stretch, but we will need it nearby, so make sure that you have it. We're going down onto our back. We're going to stretch through our legs. Now, because I want to make sure that you see this very, very clearly, I think I'm going to turn it around. Or do it facing. Actually, I'll probably do it facing. So, luckily I'm wearing long shorts. <laughs> so, here's where we're going. We're gonna come on down to our back. Make sure that your knees are bent and your feet are flat on the mat. We're going to start working on our right glute. So what I would like you to do is you're going to lift your right leg, cross that leg just above your left knee. So we are in a figure four position. From this figure four position, Lift your arms up, and you're going to reach for the back of your left knee. Interlacing your fingers right behind your left knee, and just gently holding your legs in this position. In this position, you should feel your right glute, or the back of your right hip, really opening up, feeling a real, real delicious stretch. Like I said in the beginning, if this does not feel comfortable, if this feels like too much for you, it's a good time for you to maybe just sit this one out. If you don't have the ability to wrap your hands behind your knee, you can grab your strap in both hands. Use the strap as an extension of your hands and wrap it behind your knee. Now, if this stretch feels like not enough, you may reach for the front of your left shin. This way you're able to pull that a little deeper. Now folks, we could be here, if it were up to me, for a good 30 minutes. I love this stretch. But I promise we won't. Maybe just a few more seconds. Now we will release that leg, letting our left foot touch down, uncrossing our right leg. Both feet are flat on the floor. Relax for a moment. Folks, as you're relaxing, I'll remind you that you have your water. So at any point, if you feel like you need a water break, please take it. I'm at that point for myself, so please excuse me one moment. Okay, still on our backs, feet are flat on the floor. Let's lift our left leg up in the air. 
We're going to cross that leg over our right knee. Both hands come up and out. We're going to reach behind our right knee, interlacing our fingers and gently pulling our leg up. Remember, if your hands, if it's not comfortable for you to grab the back of your knee with your hands, that's where you use your straps as an extension of your hands and you use that to wrap. If you would like to take the stretch deeper, you're going to grab the outside of your right shin. Thereby pulling your legs a little closer to your chest. Let's release that leg, bringing both feet flat onto our mat. We'll pause here for a moment. Now as you pause, I want you to reach for your straps. Depending how long of a strap, or depending if you're working with a towel, I want you to find the middle of your tool, whatever it is you're using. You're going to place your hands to the right and left of that middle point, creating like a little loop. And that loop, I want you to place it below the ball of your right foot. Once you have your right foot on that position, we're going to start to lift their leg out. I want you to begin by focusing on extending the leg. When I say extending the leg, I don't want you to, uh, I want you to try not to have any bend in the knee. So don't focus on how high you can lift the leg. Focus on where you have to have your leg to get it fully extended. Now, once you find that full extension in your leg, that's when you're going to start to walk your hands up your strap pulling your foot a little higher. Now this is where I like to remind us that we like it, and we love it, and we want some more of it. And if you don't feel that way, I promise you if you keep telling yourself that, you will fool yourself. Now, once you have that leg fully extended, you should really be feeling the stretch right back here in your hamstrings. I want you to bring your attention back up now to your ankles. We're gonna push our heels higher up, so we're pulling the ball of our foot and our toes further down. We're trying to imagine if there were ceiling tiles up on the ceiling, we're trying to push them away with our right heel. That's not only going to lengthen more for the hamstring, but now it's going to include your calf muscle. Are we breathing? <laughs> now you'll want to grab onto your strap or your towel, make sure that you have it both ends of it in your right hand. You're going to take your left hand and extend it out to the side of your body. Palm flat on the floor. Keeping your ankle in that dorsiflex position so you still have your heel fully lifted. Let's start to drop your leg to the right side of your body. Don't worry, Marty. We have room.
We're only going to feel, we're only, you're only going as far as you need to feel a stretch in your inner thigh. Again, I'll repeat. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Are we buying it yet? <laughs> Let's bring that leg back up. Folks, now you can bend the knee. Oh, really? Let's remove our foot from that little strap. Now, we're going to extend both legs. Just take a little break. At home, how are you feeling? At home, it's okay if you're mad at me. This is good for you, I promise. <laughs> but if you're loving it, yay. Okay, so. We are bringing both of our feet back up onto the mat. Going back to the top of this whole rotation, remember we found the middle of our strap. Placing your hands on the right and left of that center point, you're going to place that point right below the ball of your left foot. Extending your leg out, remembering that First thing we're focusing on is full leg extension. <clears throat> and I'm very emphatic about that because full leg extension is not always easy to achieve. I know that. So if you just give your, give your leg, you know, the liberty to be at whatever angle it wants to be, it will straighten out. You just have to figure out at what point it will straighten out. Once you get fully extended, that's where I want you to try to keep that extension as you're starting to pull your foot up. Make sure you're breathing through it. Your hamstrings are probably definitely talking to you. Whatever they're saying, try to hush the noise, right? Focusing in on your ankle, you're going to dorsiflex, so pushing that heel up and away, pulling the ball of your foot and your toes further down. Like I mentioned, the unilateral stretches earlier, our hamstrings are really, really good at telling us which side is tighter. Now we're going to hold this stretch, really trying to push that heel up and away as far as we can. Now take both ends of your strap into your left hand. Your right hand, you're going to extend out to the side of your body, palm facing or palm flat on the ground as we lower our left leg down to the other side. We're in tight quarters here. I have a foot in my face. <laughs> That's okay, we're all friends. We'll hold this for a little while longer. Now let's slowly try to start to, or start to bring that leg back up. Now we're going to bend the knee. Yes. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yes. <laughs> Removing the strap. You may leave the strap on the floor beside you. Extend your legs. Out. <sighs> Folks, keeping your legs fully extended, I'd like for you to please extend your arms overhead. So we're really trying to lengthen through our entire body. Take a few deep breaths in this position. By now, I hope 
hope that your body's feeling very relaxed. I hope that you're feeling restored. Let's go ahead and, and wiggle through our toes and our fingers. Now I'd like you to roll onto one side, you pick, and just gently start to push yourself up back to a seated position. Take your time, we are not in a rush. I know we're all feeling a little zen moment, right? <laughs> Enjoy that. You earned it, it wasn't easy. <sighs> Folks, sitting up nice and tall, I want to first thank you for sharing your time with us, for doing something wonderful for your body. Hopefully it served you well and hopefully you did get something out of it. If anything, just remember I'm going to push for you to keep hydrating. Folks, in a tall position, I'd like, you to, I'd like to invite you to please take a really big breath. Both hands are coming up to prayer as we inhale. We're going to exhale both hands down to heart center. I ask that you join me in making a heart. Here I leave you all with my love and my respect. Thank you for tuning in. From us here at the Canyon to you at the Canyon. Have a great day, everyone.